Hello everyone! It's graduation time, so in this video, I will show you how I made a graduation cupcake. I will not be going in much detail in this video because I already made a video on how I made a graduation cupcake last year. The link will be down below if you want to check it out. I explain more in detail there. Anyways, so I baked my cake in one half of the Wilton sports ball pan set and then in the round pan. Once the cake has cooled down, I am frosting the whole cake in chocolate frosting. Then in your prepared surface, you want to take black fondant or any color of your choice and roll it out to about 1 4 inch thickness. For this cake, I am using black store bought fondant. If you want a navy color, check out my other video and I tell you there how to get the color. Then with the fondant, you want to cover your cake and smooth it out. Smooth it out on top first, working your way to the bottom and trim off the unnecessary fondant. And put it aside while you do the next step. For the motherboard, I took an 8x8 square board that you can buy either online or at the store. Make sure to check the stores beforehand because when I went to Michaels and Walmart, they didn't have it at the time. So if they do not have it, you'll want to buy it online. Anyways, I am putting some frosting on the cake board and then once again, I rolled that black fondant into about 1 4 inch thickness and then covered the cake board with it. Cut off any unnecessary fondant and then place the motor board on top of the cake, securing it with chocolate frosting. Now for the bottom cake, I bake two round cakes. Once the cakes have cooled down, frost the cakes. I am using yellow frosting but of course you can use any color or flavor you wish. Before placing fondant on top, I place four straws in the center of the cake. This is a support system for the cap cake that you will be placing on top. Then roll out your fondant for the bottom part of the cake and I am rolling white fondant into 1 4 inch thickness and then placing it on top of the round cake and smoothing it out. Once again, trim off any unnecessary fondant. Then place the cap cake on top of the round cake. Put a little bit of frosting on the center to help keep the cake in place. I then took some more of the yellow frosting and then started piping a border around the cake. This hides any ugliness that the fondant might have left when trimming the excess fondant off and it makes the cake stand out more. Now, to decorate the cake, you can do pretty much anything you want to. I decided with blue fondant to cut the year of the graduation and in this case it's 2014. And then I placed it on top of the round cake. For even more decoration and so the cake was not plain, I cut out small blue stars and placed it around the cake. For the tassel, if you want to make it out of fondant, then check out the other video on how to make it. For this cake, I just used yellow Twizzlers and then rolled a little bit of black fondant and used it as a button to place on the center of the motorboard. I thought I recorded this part, but I guess I didn't. Anyways, that is how I made the cake. Also great with the graduation cupcake are graduation cupcakes. So go check out that video on how to make them and also check out how to make graduation chocolate covered strawberries. Links to the playlist will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.